Hi, Norm Facey here for Dreamcatcher, making my first ever maintenance video because I went to change the ductbill valves on my vacuum generator, vacuum flush VG4 vacuum generator, and discovered no one had actually made a YouTube video for it, which surprised the heck of me, but here I am. Um, and there's some tricks to it, so I thought I'd uh, just show you. Number one trick, make sure you get the right part. I went to home to Canada, bought these Sealand duckbill valves from a supplier that sold me the unit. Um, came back and discovered he'd sold me the one and a half inch units, not the two inch units. The difference is kind of hard to see if you're not looking for it. Um, I think I've got a diagram of all the parts, part numbers. And I'll throw that in right here. And then we'll start taking a look at taking everything apart. So in most boats, you try to get the vacuum generators away where they don't bother you. And I thought I'd done a super job of that uh, until it's time to replace these suckers. So in my pilot house, down in the bottom, underneath everything else, take my fingers out of the way, down in the bottom, underneath everything else, are my vacuum generators. Nice hole, eh? And I've actually discovered that taking the pump out is probably the right way, the only way. you got to get two duckbill valves underneath it. And uh, I obviously am going to have to take the forward one out first in order to get to the aft one because it's going to be a plumbing in its way. So this is a joint effort. I replace eight of them at one time. I think the number one instruction that comes from the uh, manufacturer in doing this is flush copious amounts of soapy water through the unit before you start. So I've already done that and we'll see how shitty a job it is anyway. So I've prepped the area, covered everything I was thinking about working on in plastic, did some taping where I thought that it might tend to fall off, got a bucket, um, rubber gloves, my favorite cloth, tools, etc. So that's all set up. Um, and then I went ahead and started working, got the bolts loose, then remember to turn off the vacuum pump because it starts leaking. So that should be higher in priority, obviously. Turn off vacuum pump before you start working on them. Well, hopefully that was useful. Um, it wasn't totally disgusting. I did go through a couple sets of gloves, so I was very happy that I had the plastic laid out on the seat. The pump will drip as you bring it out, um, so you do need to have a bucket to work on the various parts inside too. Um, I spent probably a little more than an hour per pump changing the valves. Mine's kind of awkward to get to, so that was probably a factor. I also took everything apart and gave it a scrape and clean. Um, so I probably wasted an extra 15 minutes per pump doing that. Um, I didn't show you, but on the way back together, I did get some silicone lubricant and lube the sealing surfaces of all the new duckbill valves. Um, I put everything together, plugged it back together, and they both worked first time. Uh, you probably want to take note of the direction the buck will, duckbill valves are facing when you first take it apart. Um, because they got to go back together the same way in order to hold vacuum. But it wasn't that tough. It wasn't that disgusting. Mm, I did just spend 
a little bit of time disinfecting everything that I touched. <laughs> Have a great time. Hope, hope it comes useful. Bye now.